So what is the current positioning of timing range in the treatment of diabetes? So we know that it's very important, especially for type two di or type one diabetics, we can know that uh, we can add, we know we know that insulin requirements for type one diabetes, we can titrate the insulin correctly if we know the timing range. And also for type two diabetics, we can choose and monitor dietary regimes and observe the impact of exercise. And also we can reduce the oral agents and also reduce the insulin doses depending on the continuous glucose monitoring systems. Next slide, please. It can help in a clear direction and it can also empower the patient uh, to improve their, uh, uh, and change their lifestyle changes like in relation to diet and exercise. We have the current latest uh, Guardian Connect, uh, which is one of the innovations in current diabetes management. Next slide, please. Basically, Guardian Connect is a very uh, good one. There is no need to have a finger sticks required. It's calibrated, and we can have almost close to 300 glucose readings per day. And it is an app based. Even a caretaker also can know their fluctuation. Uh, a caretaker can know by using their mobile phone, and also the caregiver also can know their uh, remotely can monitor by his phone through an app whether the sugars are going low and high. In the form itself, you know that remotely we can monitor the blood glucose. It, it shows you an alarm before getting the low sugar. At least 30 minutes or one hour before, we'll know that the sugar is rising up or going down. Next slide, please. So they have a sensor and a guardian uh, transmitter. And these are all the care link personal software and app. So these are all interconnected and we can monitor them remotely also. This is a very great tool, but it works only for one week. So this will, in the app also, we have a uh, glucose sensing uh, reading, and it also can have a sensor glucose uh, uh, higher ranges and lower ranges level. Next slide, please. For patient, it can help in alerts, and also we can know that 24-hour monitoring on their mobile device. And for uh, healthcare professional, we can access the continuous glucose monitoring data, and it has automated uploaded complete uh, one-week uh, personalized uh, care reports we can have. And also for the care uh, partners who can remotely track their real-time information on their own device, and it all it can also give an SMS alerts for high and low glucose levels. Next slide, please. So this is one of the beauty of this Guardian Connect, which is from Medtronic. It can give an alert, uh, alert at high and it can off itself and it can show uh, alerts at low levels. So even at low limit of 60 for mg per deciliter at hypoglycemia, it shows you an alarming just before uh, 30 minutes to 60 minutes before only it can give an alarm. If the sugar is rising also, it can give an alarm. Next slide. So this is a software driven and uh, you need to have a mobile phone with an app based and an Android phone and, and iOS also it can work. And it will help overall uh, the caretaker as well as the uh, caregiver and as well as the patient. It can empower the patient uh, to know their fluctuations of blood glucose levels. Uh, this is the beauty of the continuous glucose monitoring system. Next slide. And we have the latest uh, Libre, uh, which is from our company. So they have a two-week uh, sensor-based uh, glucose monitoring, and it will help you to know the blood glucose levels every 15 days. It works for two weeks. And uh, most of the times, we call the patient in one week, and uh, we have a recorder. We With the recorder, we take a printouts, and we tell the patient to record a logbook and what their dietary patterns record their timing of exercise. It will help to know uh, the fluctuations of blood glucose levels by knowing the continuous glucose monitoring for one week. And after one week, we, we adjust in, within one week, we adjust their uh, medicines. And also we tell the patient to change their lifestyle changes in relation to diet and exercise. And the patient gets empowered uh, by knowing their, uh, physically seeing the reports of fluctuations in blood glucose and patients get empowered and he changes his lifestyle changes. And this will help the patient as well as the doctor also to keep the uh, diabetes management under control. So this will help 
for the patient also to improve the quality of life and also it will it will help in reducing the complications especially continuous glucose monitoring system is very important in early diagnosis of diabetes uh, because early diagnosis of diabetes is very important to keep the glucose levels under this will this will have important uh, very important because early metabolic memory early glycemic uh, metabolic memory is very important in in uh, reducing the complications so early uh, diagnosis of diabetes because nowadays we are seeing type 2 diabetes in youth are coming up with high sugars i think early diagnosis early management early good glycemia is very important reducing complications and continuous glucose monitor is an excellent tool uh, to empower the patient on uh, to know their uh, glucose fluctuations and also for the care uh, giver or caretaker it will help them to know their uh, any fluctuations in blood glucose because of medication because of oral agents because of insulin or any other dietary you know, regimes change should be changed are in relation to exercise and overall i think glycemia is very important early good control of glycemia is very important and cgm is plays a very important role uh, in in the management of diabetes it is one of the best clinical metric in showing the outcome of the patient so this will have this will empower the patient on uh, good glycemia thank you